Hey guys, welcome to Troll Country Only. I'll be locked to this region with the main interest being God Wars Dungeon. It contains four bosses who drop pieces of some of the most iconic weapons in the game, the God Swords. My goal is to create all four. As a psychopath, I decided this would best be done as an ultimate Ironman, which means no banking or trading. My sanity might be tested, but despite how agonizing it gets, those swords will be mine. Previously on Troll Country Only, I got drunk and crunk while partying with the ladies of Berthorp. I then moved over to the guards and played a hybrid of Peekaboo and Whack-A-Mole going for the Mithril Full Helm and Plate Body. And make sure to click the playlist on the top right if you missed any of the other episodes. Alright, that baited me so hard. Alrighty, there's 44 strength. That level was a uh, purely through just flinching these guards here, which the XP is pretty slow. It's a little higher than that because I've been logging in and out today. Yeah, looking at the kills here, we are definitely dry for that Mithril Plate Body. Uh, I really feel like the Mithril Plate Body would be so huge. I feel like I could actually fight them, which would be nice instead of having to flinch. And at the very worst, I would just go train my defense maybe to 40 and that would be enough. But hopefully we'll get some armor pieces soon. Once we get the plate body, I think that my kills will speed up with these guys too, and hopefully we'll get the plum, and then we'll just be a tank. There it is! Let's see how many kills it took. 78, that's pretty dry, but uh... We got it, we got it. I'm, I'm happy enough. Let's look at that upgrade there. Ooh, 46, 44, 38? Uh, oh, they are using crush, so that is a little unfortunate. But, still miles ahead look at that look at those defenses go up oh that is so good let's see how much i get hit all right so they're definitely hitting too much for me to go on them like a man but uh i'll probably finish this kill and then i oh gosh that's why i keep getting hit my health is so low <laughs> freaking door they keep clobbering me for like five anyway I'll, I'll train my defense up after i get this kill and hopefully with like 40 defense we'll be good and we'll go from there Ooh, look what we got here. Another cheeky little herblore level. And that's 40 defense. Alrighty, so the plan now is going to be to just attack these guys straight up. And then uh, when I'm at 10 HP, I'm going to switch back over to Brioka over there. There he is. And just train on them until my HP regens. And then rinse and repeat. We're actually taking a decent amount less damage. I've only been hit for five. It's not bad. And then hopefully this will get even easier once I get that Mithril full hill. I was, uh, fighting my guy and look what showed up. Let's throw that straight into Hunter. Kapow. And this is going to be another cheeky little herbler level. Look at this absolute <laughs> unit. <laughs> that is a G right there. Rocking the, uh, Eddie plate body because I uh, can't be bothered to complete a uh, Dragon Slayer. <laughs> Oops, missed the beginning of that, but there's an iron herbler. Okay, I'm a little upset with myself. I realized something after I logged off last night when I was laying in bed. I do have an upgrade available to me that is not very hard or expensive to get. Uh, this funny helmet here, I think is the only thing I can wear in the shop that's useful. Um, I'm pretty sure everything else has a Slayer requirement. This bad boy right here only has a requirement of one Slayer, I'm pretty sure, and 10 defense, which we uh, definitely have. And the sets are a little better than the helmet. For some reason, like when I saw that in the shop before, because I definitely have looked at that shop, just like trying to theory craft or see if there's anything I could get. I was thinking it was the normal Slayer helmet. Like I know you need it to make the normal Slayer helmet, but yeah, I just kind of forgot this thing existed because uh, the normal Slayer helmet, you need like 50 Slayer and to make it, you need like a crafting level of something. I don't even remember. What is it? 55. Yeah, like I said before, like when I saw it at the shop, I just kind of thought it was the Slayer helmet. I'm kind of dumb. Oh, there we go. That's 50 strength. Oh, I missed my uh, click there. Oh, well. Alrighty, so now that we have 50 strength, now when I train attack and defense, I can hit eights, which is kind of huge. But also, I get a plus eight bonus to strength with my strength potion. So I think it's finally time to use these. I'll probably save the doses for when I'm attacking these guys at full health. So like, I'm going to finish attacking these guys now. But when I'm back up to full, uh, I'll use them and try to eke out as many kills as I can with my HP. Oh, I think I almost missed it. Oh my gosh, dude. I've been sitting down. Ooh. I was out of the room. If I missed that, I would have been so sad. 
Let's throw that bad boy into Hunter. That's our third lamp. Also, if you're wondering why I'm just sitting up here, uh, sometimes when I go AFK, I'll just like tap my keyboard or whatever and just sit here to regen health to get more guard kills. And here's 10 herb lore. One more till Terramans. Oh my god, I actually got a clue stuff I can do. Alrighty, there's 50 attack. I think I'm gonna try to top off 45 defense and then I'm gonna focus on strength after that. Alrighty, this Guam here should be my next level. Ka chow. 11 herb lore. Can now clean Terramans. And I actually kept one because I knew it was coming up soon. Pog. There's 45. Back to strength time. Uh, I kind of ran into a problem. <laughs> I just found an easy clue scroll that uh, I can do, which is awesome. So I can save that with the medium clue scroll. I also finally got an air runes drop from the guards, which has been ridiculous that this is my first one. But uh, my inventory is just full now. <laughs> I think I'm just going to do a few guard kills and then just eat both of these kebabs to get rid of them. I'll have to see how easy it is to get nature runes, chaos runes, but uh, those are the next two slots to go, I think. Alrighty, now I'm good and low, and here we go. Nom. Nom. Alright, I think I actually might get some use out of the chaos runes, uh, at least for the early levels, so I think I'm gonna sell the nature runes, because I can stockpile those by killing trolls, I think. And I don't really care too much about money, so I'm just gonna sell them all. But, uh... There we go, our inventory is looking a little more free, which is nice. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I finally got it. How many kills was that bad? Oh my goodness. I'm like so tired right now, it's like way too late. Yeah, definitely dry <laughs> if you look at the numbers there. 242 kills it took to get that bad boy. That is so nice though, I'm so happy. I was starting to question if they actually dropped it at that rate, like I was like, Hmm, I wonder if they do, actually. Oh my gosh, I feel like such an idiot. I just made sled wax. Um, I originally had three items in my inventory, a uh, cake tin, swamp tar, and a bucket of wax. And uh, for some reason, I thought that you needed to start the quest in order to combine them, but I just got bored and decided to start combining them and it worked. Wow. I feel so dumb. Why did I try that earlier? Oh my goodness. Look at how much of that frees up my inventory. Oh my gosh. Why did I think of that before, man? Alrighty, this should be a prayer level coming in right here. 37, which unlocks our first overhead, which is pretty cool. Let's check that bad boy up right there. And actually, now that we unlocked overheads, I should probably explain what my next step is. All right, so my current plan is actually to try to get 40 prayer to uh, unlock protect from missiles so I don't get uh, absolutely destroyed by these troll throwers here. And uh, I should be able to walk my way through this path here without needing climbing boots and train on these trolls. You can actually save spot the throwers with melee. You can do a method according to the wiki where you get hit once and then you walk up to them in a certain spot, and then you can just keep bapping them with your Warhammer. So in theory, I could just chuck up Protect from Missiles, get hit once by them, then just save spot them, and then rinse and repeat from there. I wouldn't even have to worry about food, which is super cool. And they actually have a decent amount of upgrades that would be pretty huge for training my strength and attack levels up. The most notable ones being the Adamant Warhammer from the Troll Throwers, and the three bosses like Kraka, P-Hat, and something else, I forget the other one's name. Uh, there's one. Oh, rock. There you go. Uh, they dropped the rune warhammer, which uh, would be pretty sick to get as an upgrade. I don't know how realistic I think the rune warhammer is because it is a one in one to eight drop from them and they do hit pretty hard. I might not focus on those, so I'll probably be sticking with the normal trolls and the troll throwers. So the upgrades these guys can drop other than the two warhammers are a adamant med helm and then uh, a mithril square shield, which is pretty pretty nice because I don't have a shield slot so that'll be a pretty big upgrade. Right now I actually have a weapon upgrade available to me which is the Black Claws by killing um the Birthorp guards over there. Not guards, the, the soldiers. They have a bit higher stats and they hit pretty hard and the Black Claws I would get from them is also a 128. So I think I'd rather just focus on uh getting my prayer level up so I can start attacking these guys because the Adamant Warhammer also being a 1128 
will be way better than the Black Claws. The Black Claws is only a slight upgrade over the Mithril uh, Warhammer. And then also, if I had the Black Claws, I wouldn't be able to get this shield upgrade from them. So we get a shield upgrade. Actually, the bosses too, uh, Stick, Rock, and what is the other one? P-Hat? They uh, also dropped the Granite Shield, which would actually be an insane upgrade. They also drop a Adamant Square Shield, uh, all 10128 for the Rune Warhammer, the Adamant Square Shield, and the Granite Shield on the boss dudes. Any of those would be pretty good. We'll, we'll probably try a few kills, um, maybe when I unlock Protect from Melee, so I don't get absolutely clobbered. Speaking of prayer points, because I'm going to have to use prayer points getting through here every time, and I'll probably be using it while attacking these guys. I unfortunately don't have a way to recharge prayer points other than suiciding, which is kind of something I was trying to avoid in the early game. But uh, I think I just have to embrace it because it's kind of a huge part of the Ultimate Iron Man game mode. So, so yeah, the plan will be just obviously using Protect from Missiles going up here. Uh, I'll flick Protect from Missiles until I get them into a safe spot and just attack them. And hopefully I get some good upgrades and they'll be decent XP. They are a decent amount of a higher level. So uh, hopefully my Mithril Warhammer can uh, get through their thick skin. We'll see. For now, we're just going to focus on killing the... Uh, Poor citizens of birth are still <laughs> to get that uh, sweet, sweet prayer XP. I need about 10k more XP, so uh, hopefully that won't take too long. All right, I'm just making blunders left, right, and center. Not only did I not need to get rid of all those inventory spaces earlier because I could have combined the wax, I totally should have kept the nature runes over the chaos runes. Because I just realized I have access to a chaos rune spawn. It literally spawns on the ground. <laughs> Once I complete the three starting quests, I can just make my way to the top of this mountain. And literally, there's just a spawn like right here, I think. And I can just keep hopping worlds and picking up chaos runes for free. I'm dumb. What the fuck? I, I just decided to kill one on a whim. I will show you that it's my first kill. What the? Are you joking? That is a 1 in 1, 2, 8, right? Like, I'm not going insane? Yeah, 1 out of 1, 2, 8. My first kill. What? Oh my god, I look like such a badass. <laughs> Matches my shoes. <sighs> Kinda makes up for going dry in the full helm. <laughs> it's literally the first kill. Like, look at this again. I've killed one. So, uh, going back to the trolls, um, I was looking at the stats of the troll archers. They actually have super low melee defenses. They have like plus 200 range and magic defense. But uh, for melee, they're pretty low for their level. Oh, they, they have no defensive stats at all. So actually, it will be way better DPS to use the claws on them. Yeah, they have no melee defensive stats at all. They just have the 30 defense. I'll still keep the Warhammer for when I get the shield and I'm attacking other NPCs. Just like the idea of using claws to attack people is so weird if you think about it. Anyway, uh, I mean, that'll speed up these kills, presumably to get a prayer XP and it'll speed up uh, the kills on the trolls themselves because it's higher DPS with uh, the faster attack speed. That's pretty cool. Alrighty, so with our uh, new Black Claw upgrade, looks like we're getting about 1k prayer XP per hour, which is uh, pretty good compared to what I was getting before. If I was putting in like full attention almost to where I was barely distracted with something else, I was getting about 700 uh, XP an hour. So, uh, Bumming up to a thousand is pretty nice. Uh, that means I probably have like what? Uh, we're at 29. That's like eight hours of uh, prayer XP left until I can get 40. It's not too bad because 40, 40 prayers at like 37,000. It'll probably be more closer to nine or 10 because uh, this is pretty monotonous to be honest. And uh, I like watching Netflix while playing. <laughs> but yeah, Black Claws look like they're going to save me some time, which is awesome. <laughs>